let's let's say hello. <gasps> let's say hello. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't want to say hello. what's going on so today we are watching a very exciting movie in my opinion we are watching Oz the Great and Powerful I'm really excited to watch this movie because I've seen it once I saw it when it first came out in theaters in 2013 yeah 2013 and I don't really remember what I thought of it like I, and I also barely remember the movie. All I remember is James Franco, Michelle Williams, and Mila Kunis are all in it. That's all I know. And I obviously know that it is a prequel to The Wizard of Oz. I don't know. I remember at the age that I saw this, which I believe was at like 12 or 13, I enjoyed The Wizard of Oz, the movie. I really had no idea what Wicked was at the time. So I don't remember. I remember. I don't think I hated it. I don't think I disliked it. I think I enjoyed it. I just don't think I loved it to any extent that I would like get it on DVD or that I went back and rewatched it like all around that time it's like I watched it it was fine and then I just kind of forgot about it and then I remembered it like a couple years ago and I was like oh yeah the forgotten Wizard of Oz movie that no one talks about made by Disney with like a huge cast in it and what's what I remember a huge budget it seemed like it was very well made from what I remember so yeah I thought uh considering the ever floating around rumors of a Wicked movie and just how big Wicked is in general and how prominent the story of this world of Oz and the Wizard of Oz is, I thought it'd be really fun to jump back into this movie that no one talks about and maybe see why no one talks about it. Because I, I don't remember there, any, there being anything bad about it necessarily. So let's get started. Let's just get right on into the movie everyone let's say hello to the camera can we say hello to the camera can we say hello come on you oh nope let's stand right here and let's look up nope no not today it seems oh and this is directed by sam raimi which i think is so odd he's just kind of all over the place like Evil Dead and uh, uh, the Spider-Man trilogy, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy, and then this. So interesting to me. The range. Oh yeah, this is already just very well done in my opinion. So this is like a prequel to uh, The Wizard of Oz along with Wicked. I wonder how early on this takes place, like prior to the- oh Rachel Weisz is in this? Oh, I'm excited. I forgot who she was in this. I had no idea who she was, I know, when I saw this in theaters. So this is exciting. But um, anyways, I wonder, like, how close this is to The Wizard of Oz time-wise. Like, is this just maybe, like, a decade prior? Or is this, like, a hundred years prior? This is really beautiful opening credits. I'm a big fan of this. Oh, Danny Elfman. Makes complete sense. He would compose this type of movie. I really want to read the original, like, Wicked book. Like, the one that Wicked is primarily based on. I don't know how much The Wizard of Oz ties to that original book, but I really want to read it. I know it's, like, huge, a huge book, but I really want to read it. Oh, yeah, it's like a circus. Oh, okay, 1905 in Kansas. Okay. So this is... When does The Wizard of Oz even take place? I imagine this seems, like, right around that time. Maybe 19... 10 to 1915 that's whenever the wizard of oz was because the movie came out in the 30s and they were obviously portraying sometime prior to then <gasps> oh. <laughs> i'm never gonna, i'm terrible at telling how people do magic how did he do that oh are we just hold on a minute we're still in like a really small ratio like a square 
this isn't gonna stay like this the whole time i'm guessing when he travels to oz the ratio is gonna get bigger and it's oh and it's been black and white how long has it been in black and white am i just now noticing this or has it always like has it always been in black and white <laughs> i swear i didn't even realize that it was still like this until just now but i think it's gonna go to color and it's gonna get to a bigger ratio um when he goes to oz kind of like how dorothy whenever she went to oz um it went to color so they're kind of um, playing on that whole thing. I shall require a volunteer from the audience. Anyone. Really? Come on. Did she already forget? Oh my god. That's just embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh my god. So wait, how is he doing that? Obviously he's like a con artist, so like how is he doing this? Is that Joey King? Was that Joey King in the audience, the star of the kissing booth? How is he doing this? They're gonna show how he did it. In the wheelchair. That's Joey King, right? I see a wire. Oh, is there a wire? Joey King! It's Joey King. Okay, but see, my question is, if there is a wire, how did he get it hooked up to her so quickly? It must have been whenever he was making her go to sleep. He, like, he had the wire there on standby, and he just, like, See, but if he just taped it on her, that would easily come off. How did he secure a wire to her with so much strength that then it could hold her, her weight, all the way above the ground with, like, no support? Maybe he's helping a little bit, but still. Odd, because she came up from the audience, so there was no time to really safely secure her. Oh, I see the wire, too. On her feet. Maybe... Oh, no, I was about to say maybe it was connected to the sheet, but she would still fall. It has to be connected to her. Okay. Oh, my God. So that was all planned. And, okay, no wires. Joey King is surprised. And she's gone. Okay. Magician. He really is a magic. He's not a fake. Make me walk. Oh. Make me walk. Oh. I believe in you. Oh. I'm a, I'm a fan of Joey King. She's really good. And she's a good person. And she's doing great so far. Make the girl walk. Make the yeah, you made the other girl levitate and disappear. You can make her walk. Come on. Unfortunately, there is a distemper in the... Distemper in the ether? What does that even mean? Oh, don't make Joey King cry. Fix it, James Franco. So where did the girl go? <laughs> where did she go? Literally, I can't think of where she went. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> knows when to close the damn curtain. Wait, what? Oh. He's magic. He's literally magic. Why do I feel that she's like the young version of a character in The Wizard of Oz? Just like with her name, Annie. Is she? Am I right? Or is she just... A random character that's only in this movie and not anywhere else in the Oz world. That's true. I'm a fake. How are you a fake, though? Literally, how did you have fire in your coat? So isn't she also, like, Glinda? From the poster, it looks like she also plays Glinda. Which kind of also ties back to that whole original thing with the Wizard of Oz, where, like, people in his life, in his real life, are also then the people in Oz, or the magical beings in Oz. Oh, is there gonna be like a tornado? Yep. Wow, they are literally pulling down the whole air, hot air balloon. I feel like that'd be tough. I feel like those things are pretty heavy, especially if they have a person in it. Oh, he's literally going right into the tornado. See, fun fact everyone, tornadoes are my, out of all of the natural disasters out there, my worst fear. I think it's because of how scary they look and the sound that's associated with them. I've, he I've heard from people that the sound you hear if a tornado is coming sounds like, like a train whistle or whatever, like a really loud train whistle. And then the sky gets all like, the sky turns a certain color. I don't remember what color it is. Maybe yellow? For some reason I keep thinking green, but I don't think that's correct. I think it's like yellow orange, something like that. But then just how terrifying it looks. Like, 
don't get me wrong, yes, all natural disasters are, in their own ways, terrifying and terrible things, but at least when it comes to, like, a hurricane, it's mainly just rain. It's rain and a lot of wind and then everything gets, and then it's just a lot of destruction, you know? There's not, like, a literal thing coming at you like a tornado where it could just be coming straight on to your house. That is terrifying to me. And yeah, that, that same can also be said of like avalanches, tsunamis, um, floods, stuff like that. They also do the same thing where it's like an imposing force coming right at you. I don't know though. The torn just the look of the tornado, how dark and like how if you get sucked up into one, you don't know what's going to be in there with you. You don't know where it's going to take you. I don't know. That's my opinion. Comment down below what, what natural disaster you are the most scared of. Tornadoes have made it so I never want to move anywhere in, like, the middle of the United States. Like, no thank you. I'm going to live somewhere where there's hills or mountains that can detract the tornadoes away, make the tornadoes not be around, or just not, it just, I'm going to live in areas where there's not tornadoes. Um, yeah, back to the movie. <laughs> Yeah, see, I, I couldn't handle this. I could never be, like, a storm chaser. Mm-mm. Especially not for tornadoes. No thank you. Oh! Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, he's in a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, yeah. That is a flying hazard. Man, at least Dorothy in the house, she had a little bit of protection. She had full walls. He is in a small box. Oh. Totally fade to black. Are we going to get color? Not yet. When is it going to go to color? So curious. <gasps> it's going to color. Oh, and it's widening out. I to I knew it. Oh, this this is great. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love, oh, that's so pretty. Wow. I can't get over how beautiful this is. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God. Oh, that is so pretty. This is also giving me like Alice in Wonderland vibes. Are the flowers gonna start singing? Are they gonna have faces? They're not gonna have faces. <gasps> Oh my god! This is so magical, I love it! Oh my god, rainbow fish! <gasps> Flying rainbow fish? Oh no, just birds. Did the birds come up out of- oh, wow. Oh my god. I need more movies to look like this nowadays. I think- I think so many people think that this type of movie where it's like, yes, very heavy on CGI. Yes, was probably all done on like a sound stage or whatever, but like I feel like we barely get any of them anymore because I don't know if it's the filmmakers or the audience or both are like they are very like averted or like they're very they don't want to see they're, they're tired of this look in movies. Like I really only see like super duper magical worlds like this in the most recent Maleficent movies. I can't even think of any other movies that just look this beautiful, like where it's just like a totally fantastical world with witches and fairies and colorful animals and magical beings and stuff like this, you know, like I, there was, it was also in the 20, I believe 13, um, Snow White and the Huntsman movie, it was very magical and magical world like this and stuff and obviously Harry Potter um, and Chronicles of Narnia and Lord of the Rings, but like, and then this. Why don't we get more? Is it just that many people, many filmmakers just don't have the budget? Is it that they can't think up a story that would, that would have this type of world in it? I just, I want more like this, where it's like, we're literally transported into another world and the world just has magical beings and amazing stuff like this. I just want more of this in, in film and TV. Um, I just feel like we don't get as much of it as we did, like, I'd say maybe in the 2000s, like, at the time that Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings was big. But even then, it's like, I, those are the only two I could think of. Um, there's maybe a couple other kind of smallish ones. And even then, like, it has to then have a good budget. 
like for example the lightning Th thief movie i think was kind of maybe going for this in some ways but just couldn't didn't have as big of a budget as it needed this i can tell it's disney has a budget and i want more disney hello are you listening make more movies like this if you're gonna do a live action movie make it look like this choose some story that y'all have in your archives and do this or do a whole new original story and make it in a world like oz in this movie please please that's all i'm asking this i love stuff like this like yeah obviously everything behind him is a green screen but do i care no because it's beautiful i love it i guess I guess some upcoming movies that we have coming up that will look like this are the Avatar sequels. Yes, I'm exci very excited for the Avatar sequels still. Um, but you know, my favorite genre is high fantasy, all this type of stuff. So if you give me a beautiful world like this and then a s good story to go along with it, I'm going to really enjoy it. I am. He can't, swim. he can't swim. You are in your 30s, probably, sir. That is shallow water also. How are you a grown man at the beginning of the 1900s in Kansas and you don't know how to swim? Oh, who's this gonna be? Is it gonna be a person or an animal? Oh, Mila Kunis? So I don't I don't remember who Mila Kunis plays in this. <gasps> see, stuff like this. I wanna see more of these little things in movies. Little tiny creatures that don't exist in real life. Because you will be our king. Your king. Picture that. Picture accidentally getting transported to this old world and then someone comes up to you and says, Hey, you're our king. What was that? The Wicked Witch's minions. The Wicked Witch? Elphaba? Okay, wait. It could be the Wicked... It's probably the Wicked Witch of the East. The Wicked Witch has summoned them back. Wicked Witch of the... East? West? I too am a witch. I'm Theodore the Good. Theodore the Good? Who's that? Not the vines, the lion! Oh, is it the cowardly lion? Oh, it's a real lion. Unless in this version, the cowardly lion is a real lion. It's interesting how they're hiding which wicked witch it is, west or east. That's gonna be some sort of reveal, I guess. Which one it is. Elphaba, or... I don't know the, the wicked witch of the east's name, but that one. Oh, hey! This monkey is voiced by the same guy who was James Franco's assistant at the beginning of the movie. There's another tie to people he knows in real life being then the people he knows in Oz. Even though we never saw Mila Kunis in his real life. Do you like it? Oh, who's this? <gasps> Rachel Weiss. 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 Oh my god. The climb he just did. Up the door. Impressive. What do you know about goodness? Deep down, you are wicked. Oh? Wicked! Oh my god. Wicked? We only ever hear that term about one witch, and that's the Wicked Witch of the West. Or is she the Wicked Witch of the East? I think it's not a coincidence that they're using that. Is she supposed to be Elphaba? But then why is her name Theodora? And why isn't she green? He must be like he's in heaven. Like all of these beautiful girls around. This magical world. His own personal assistant flying monkey. He's king and he has all that money. And one of these things! It's like a chalice. A chalice. I knew a it. Chalice. I'm so good at knowing what magical cups are. Not even magical, just f fancy medieval cups. He has to carry his bag still? Oh my god, look at those horses in the back. They're colorful. Oh, I see. Because I'm a monkey, I must love bananas, right? That is a vicious stereotype. You like bananas? Of course I love bananas. I, love <laughs> I feel like that was in like the previews for this movie on TV. I feel like I remember hearing that a bunch. They're on that sign, it says Chinatown. Whoa. Oh, China as in like China that you use at like a tea party, like glass drinking ware stuff. That's such a smart play on Chinatown. Wow. Oh, and I'm guessing like all of its citizens were made of China. Oh my God, it's a little China girl. Are you the wizard? That sounds like Joey King. 
Is this Joey King in this world? Yes! Joey King's the China girl! Oh, let me guess. Her legs are, are broken. Her, her legs got broken because they're China. Yep. And that ties her back to the Joey King in Kansas. See, now how did they do this? Did they put, like, Joey King in, like, a suit? And like CGI'd her to make her look like China, or is this all completely animated? And Joey King like recorded her um, her lines. Oh, he's gonna glue her back together. Oh, she's so small. Oh, she's really small. Look how small her leg is. Yeah, they must have just that's animated, and Joey King recorded her lines because she's so small. Unless they somehow shrunk her also. I don't know. CGI is a wondrous thing. Oh my god, are the trees, like, literally moving right now? Yeah, they're moving in towards him. That's creepy. I can't believe he has to carry his bag the whole time. It's like, dude, just make a backpack and wear a backpack. Oh my god, the eyes. Oh my god. That is so creepy. Will you calm down? Oh my god! Oh my god! What are those? They're like creepy plants. Hate the dark forest. Hate the dark forest. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. What? See, why doesn't he just fly the whole time? The monkey? He should just fly the whole time. That seems a lot easier for him with carrying the bag. Or it's a decoy. I don't know why there'd be a decoy, but for some reason, I don't think this is the witch. The Wicked Witch. Also, when are we going to see Glinda? Because I'm pretty sure she's on the poster, so I feel like she should be more of a prominent part than she's been. We're almost halfway through. Where is she? Just grab the wand. Be quick about it. Oh, oh, who's that? Who was that? Break it, wizard! Break it! Did you say wizard? Oh... Who's this? Who's this? Who is this? It's Glinda! Why is Glinda wearing such a dark coat? And does he recognize her as Annie from his world? It was her. Then she's the one who destroyed my village? Okay, if Evanora is the Wicked Witch, is she the Wicked Witch of the East or the West? And if it's the West, why is her name not Elphaba? And then if Theodore is also a Wicked Witch, that means one of them has to be the Wicked Witch of the West. And why is neither of them named Elphaba? You know, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Evanora is the Wicked Witch of the West, and for, instead of doing Elphaba, they're doing Evanora for some reason. And their little ode to her being green is all the green clothing she wears, but also that could just be an Emerald City thing, all the green clothing. I don't know. All I know is if one of them is the Wicked Witch of the West, why? Why are they not green, and why is their name not Elphaba? Is there an, a third Wicked Witch I'm just not aware of? And Elphaba, not Elphaba, Evanora and Theodora, so many Aura names. Um, if one of them is the Wicked Witch of the East, maybe then there's like a third Wicked, the, the other one's a third Wicked Witch that has no affiliation with Elphaba. Okay, I think Theodora is gonna be the Wicked Witch of the West because she's honestly giving me, giving me more Elphaba vibes than Rachel Weiss's, she's way more just evil. Like I could see Mila Kunis here. Oh my God, her crying is burning her. Wow. Oh wow. Okay, but I could see Mila Kunis becoming evil out of heartbreak or whatever, and that reminds me of Alphaba. And then I guess she's the Wicked Witch of the East. <sighs> Ah uh, yes, a handkerchief. That will defeat them. You're a, wi a witch as well. Why can't you do some magic? Okay, yeah, there we go, James Franco. Carry your own bag. See, there we go. Oh my god. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, her dress is beautiful. I love her dress. Is she gonna come up in a bubble? Are they all gonna- Yes! Look at her go! Oh, that is so fun! So is that the extent of her magic? 
colorful fog and bubbles because she's a good witch. Oh, that mountain was... Oh, these mountains are shaped like animals. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this area looks familiar. Yeah, isn't this where like Dorothy first landed in The Wizard of Oz? Oh, there's so many children. Where are all their parents? Are they all in the back? Haha, <laughs> both arms up. Oh my god, her tears literally made singe marks. Oh, in her, in her skin. Wow. So, okay, so if even crying hurts these witches, does that just mean that they go their whole life not crying? Or is this going to heal for her eventually? Like, what about when they were little kids and, like, they, like, accidentally bumped into something and started crying when they were, like, two or whatever? How did that work then? Did the... It singed them then. What, what did they do? Kids cry really often. How did they avoid not just getting singed by their own tears or melted by their whatever by their own tears all the time one bite is all it takes oh my god what did she do to her what is happening to me oh, or it's just your heart withering away oh my god what Oh my god. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I hate that sound. Oh my god. So she's literally, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So she is the Wicked Witch of the West. But they just decided not to name her Elphaba this time, I guess. Which must mean that her sister is the Wicked Witch of the East. These are the tinkers. Oh, the tinkers could maybe help. They work with tools. How hard can fighting be? Just take your tool and then just jab and hit and throw. It could work. We can build anything. And they could build some weapons. And we're prepared to storm the Emerald City. There you go. Also, we sing. Uh, yes. Musical number. <gasps> yes. Yes. So he's obviously not going to defeat either of the witches because Dorothy comes in and d does that. So what is, how does this end? <gasps> oh, it's her. Oh my God, this is going to be so cool. I can already tell. Oh my God, the music. Oh, and it's going to be a big reveal, isn't it? Of Mila Kunis as the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh no. No, is it not? Is it just going to be a, a fireball? She has to come up out of the fireball. The build up, come on. Oh, there she is. I think I see her materializing. Oh my God. Oh, she's creepy. She looks nothing like herself. So in this version of Oz, Oz, the, the wizard, literally caused Elphaba, or Theodora to become her. Selfish and extremely. How did they get her eyebrows to go up that much? Are those just drawn on and they found a way to completely cover her eyebrows? They must have. Or did they CGI her eyebrows out? Because I, I do not think Mila Kunis can get her eyebrows to go all the way up like that. Oh my god, is Mila Kunis, Mila Kunis doing that laugh? Because if so, she's doing a great job. I'm just a con man. Who can somehow hold fire in his coat. That's a, definitely a choice of a shot. Just giant James Franco head. My very own winky guards. Winky guards? Oh my god. Oh my god. These flying monkeys are brutal. Oh. Oh, smart. Oh no, and they're gonna all fall asleep because they're in the poppy fields. Yep, oh, that's so smart. Curse you! Ooh, that sounded like it could have hurt her throat. 
Oh my god. She's literally defying gravity. Oh my, look at her flying. She's all like... Great. Oh, he's bolting. Oh. He expects that hot air balloon to fly filled with coins and money and stuff. I think it'll be too heavy. Oh, wait. That's gonna be a trick. He's not up there. He did that to make them believe he was up there, but he's really gonna be somewhere else. Okay, but water doesn't burn or melt her, so it's just the wicked witches that have water as a weakness. Glinda's fine. Maybe it's because she's good, so she doesn't have signs of like, I don't know, water. She doesn't have water as a weakness. Oh, oh wow. That's just like then what the wizard does in The Wizard of Oz. Wow. Wow. The power of modern technology. And the monkey's literally doing what he did in Kansas. He's doing the sound effects. Oh, I love that. I defy you! Like how you defy gravity. I'm immortal! I am the great Oh, and, and that's making him bigger. Yes! Oh, that's iconic. How did they get their cue of when to launch the fireworks? Are they on some, like, line? Like, we were waiting for him to say that? Or they, could they hear him say that? Because how loud he probably is? Okay, so it looks like he didn't kill them. He just ran them both off, and that's whenever Dorothy will kill them some point in the future. At the very least, they deserve that. That was very sudden. Those two cuts, or those two shots, that was a very sharp cut. Oh! They're both defying gravity! What's, what's happening? Oh, she took away the necklace. Oh, what's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Look what you've done to me! So that was keeping her young. So she was the Wicked Witch of the East. Why wasn't she wearing the red slippers? Oh, and here it is. Here's then how he's set up like this. You're my friend. That's all I ever really wanted. Aww. Because remember at the very beginning, the, uh... His assistant in Kansas was like, I'm your friend. And Dave, not Dave, James Franco was like, no, you're not. So that's a development. Monkey version of him is his friend. <laughs> the talent in playing that horn. The end. Okay, everyone. That was Oz the Great and Powerful. So I'm still really curious as to why no one talks about this movie as part of the Oz, Wick Wizard of Oz, Wicked World canon. No one talks about it and I thought it was good. I didn't think it was like brilliant by any means. Like it wasn't the best thing ever, but I thought it was good. I thought it was really fun. Why does no one talk about it? I don't know. I thought it was definitely especially fun for like a family movie, for a kids movie. I, I, the only reason I could think of as to why people don't talk about it is maybe they're angry that this kind of went a separate route than the route of Wicked, the Broadway musical. Like they're the origin story of Elph Elphaba and Glinda in that story seems different than this one. They both seem a little different in ways so maybe that's why i need to do a little bit more research i'm not like as well versed in the world of wicked and this whole world again like i said before i need to read the book or i want to read the book um so i'm not sure exactly how accurate this is to maybe what happens in the book or maybe some minute details that are in the musical not really sure but yeah 
I hope that eventually the Wicked movie can be made uh, because I've just been hearing so much about it for years and I'm so excited for it and it seems like it's never gonna come out so I guess we have this in the meantime which this is nothing like Wicked but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already also, please be sure to follow me on social media. My Instagram is at Rachel Rimini. My Twitter is at Rachel underscore Rimini. And my letterbox is just my name, Rachel Rimini. Comment down below what you guys think of this movie if you've seen it. I, I thought it was good. I thought it was very entertaining and definitely really good for if you have kids, like a family audience. Um, and I thought it wasn't that bad of a prequel to how Oz and how the Wizard of Oz came to be. I think that's real was really interesting. Um, if it's officially canon, which I guess it would be because it's like a major motion picture Disney movie. So I don't know why I'd be like, nope, this isn't a part of the Wizard of Oz canon. I I'd assume it would be. Um, and I guess it just ignores Wicked. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Yay! And for anyone curious of where Ophelia has been this whole time, here she is. She slept for most of the movie. <laughs> We're just gonna keep zooming until she moves. Is she gonna move? <gasps> oh, oh, is she gonna come towards the camera? <gasps> Say hi, Ophelia! You've barely been in today's video, so I had to come show you off. <sighs> Hello. Oh, hi. 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 Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay, goodbye everyone! Ophelia says good night!